Today, we're gonna make talking 3D avatars. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. In just a few minutes with the help from AI. This time we're using RenderNet to create our base image and Pika for the animation and lip sync. So let's go. Head over to RenderNet. If it is your first time, there are several guides on this channel to get you started quickly, and I'll drop the link in the comments too. Once in, we go to a studio, and as usual, magic mode is selected by default. Now, we unselect Canon and filter by Anime Comic to choose the 3D model mode. We change the aspect ratio to 1 to 1, and finally write the following prompt to create our avatar in a synthwave eSports style I hope you'll like. eSports, neon avatar, a cyberpunk woman with a cap and sunglasses, synthwave palette, dark plain background. Feel free to play around with the prompt and tweak it to get the avatar you want, I'll leave in the comments. So now we click generate and after a few seconds our avatar will be ready to download. It's cool, right? Now let's get to Pika via pika.art, you'll find the link in the description below, and here we have two options. One simple and quick but with less dynamic results and another one that's a bit more complex but delivers somewhat better results in my opinion so let's start with the first one by uploading our image and click on lip sync this will open a new window to generate the audio of our avatar you can also upload your own audios but remember each video generated will be four seconds long We'll use the option to generate the voice from here. It uses 11 labs, which also I recommend too, and we type in some text, for example, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe, and choose a voice. I like Dorothy's, but feel free to try any other. We click here to generate the video and after about one or two minutes, we'll have this first version. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Not bad but we can still get a bit more out of it. First, we're gonna generate a video of our avatar and then apply limb sync. This way, we'll get some more dynamism and movement from our character. So for this, we upload our avatar's image and we're gonna write the following prompt. 3D animation, a woman, idle pose, breathing. Meaning we want some movement, but not too much. In motion control, we set 1 in the strength of motion, and in parameters, we apply the maximum to consistency with the text, 25. Now we click generate and wait again. As you see, our avatar is now animated. Now we click on edit and select the lip sync option. We do exactly what we did before, so we'll speed through this and generate. Wait a bit. And done. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. What do you think? I know there are many other tools for doing this and in future videos I'll also show you how to do it with Runway. Bye bye guys.